Okay, so let's not try that because that kind of crashed the game for me. <laughs> so sorry about that, guys. Let's go back to uh, some of the other things. So you can see you can set up your transmitter, you can change transmitter, you can change all these different kinds of keys and things. One thing I wanted to show you real quick, let me go back to our, our field real quick um, and kind of show you what I was talking about. There is a a very specific way you can actually edit a lot of the planes. So if I go to my favorites and I pull up, for example, let's see what's a good plane to try out. Let's try out the P-51 Mustang. You can see what the, the Mustang looks like. Um, when I tap zero, I actually have gears and everything that goes down. Um, you would never want to try that in real life because you would definitely break some turbos and probably your prop and everything else. Um, now as far as you go to your model, go to edit. You can actually edit your your plane. You can go to physical here. We can make the size of the model even better. So if you go to like, oh, I don't know, say 100%. Alright, we got a scale wizard. I'm sorry, a scale wizard. Let's do 150%. I have no idea how big 150% is, but we'll see. That's big. So that's that's almost like a, a one-fifth scale. So you see, everything's going to be still really sensitive, so you're going to have to edit everything. And it's not going to fly realistic because... I mean, look how fast that thing is. That's ridiculous. <laughs> so we're going to hit the dual rates, make sure those are on. Much better. My tail is still ridiculously unrealistic, but that's what's cool about this. You can adjust everything to make it look realistic. Um, as I did this flyby, I'm going to pull up the gear real quick for you, show you what it looks like. And then the plane becomes amazing after that point. So we should be able to do some crazy, crazy flying. Especially with the, the tails messed up as it is. <laughs> and this is a gas power plane. You can actually change the audio, um, I think. Let's see if I can bring this thing in for a landing. I seriously doubt it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's, the tail's so tricky whenever you're trying to. Whoa, that was horrible. Okay. Alright, so let's see if we can bring it in for an actual true landing. On, on true landings, you really don't want to kind of make it come right at you. So you want to make sure you bring it out, you know, good and far enough. You want to bleed off some of the speed, so you'll start letting off on, in the turn. Give it about half throttle or quarter throttle. You want to give too much because then you'll start losing too much altitude. So give it a little bit of gas in the turn there. And then when you're setting up for a landing, you'll bring it in. As you see, you're coming in somewhat at an angle, like, like so. You don't want to come in just head on because you'll lose some of your orientation. So as you're coming in, you know, uh, you just bring it in, and then we'll cut the throttle quite a bit, bring it down to about quarter throttle. I'll start pulling back, and give it a little bit more gas at the end to float everything off, and then shut her down. And then use your your rudder quite a bit to make sure you keep it in control. And then there you go. I know that's not the perfect landing, but um, it's a way to do it. So. I mean, if you guys have any tips or tricks, I mean, please, by all means, let us know. Um, I mean, I, I'm just now starting RC. I've only been doing it about a year or so. And, you know, go to trade shows. There's a lot of stuff out there. There's a lot of things you can do. It's a lot of fun. I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.